Hi everyone, John here from All Miniatures Great and Small, and this week's Flames of War unit overview where you're looking at the M4 Easy 8 Sherman Tank from the American Bulge book. So the Easy 8 uh, is the nickname for this tank, and it is probably my favorite tank in World War II. Um, you might have seen a Easy 8 star in the movie Fury. And if you haven't seen that movie and you like Easy 8s, it's a pretty cool movie. All right, so we have the Easy 8 out of the American Bulge book. The American Bulge book is really interesting. It gives us a ton of options for how Americans run their Shermans. Now, this particular video, we are just covering the Easy 8, but we'll have additional videos where we cover um, the other uh, Sherman models as well as um, putting them all together in a platoon and formation. So the Easy 8 let's start with the basics besides the fact that it is the coolest looking Sherman. We'll talk about the stats. So the stats of the Easy 8 they come in two versions. They come in a uh, careful version and they come in a, um, a hit on threes version which is the uh, aggressive version. So we're going to talk about the um, careful version first. So the careful version is careful, it's hit on a 4 plus. Both uh, all Easy 8 models, well not all I guess I should say, but the stock Easy 8 has a front armor of 7, a side and rear of, of 4, and a top armor 1. So very similar to a Sherman 76 from the D-Day book, 7, 4, and 1. Motivation is confident 4 plus, but with a protected ammo remount of 3 plus. And then in skill, we have a 4-up skill, but we do have a 3-plus tactics rating. So for things like blitzes, um, that's going to make it a little bit easier for the Americans to, to do. All right, so uh, the tank has the smooth ride special rule, and this is one of the main things that distinguishes the EZ-8 from other Shermans. It's one of them, but it's a, it's a big one. So basically, the smooth ride special rule means that if the tank moves uh, up to four inches or you know less than four inches they can fire their main gun without the stabilizer penalty so that means two shots on the move with no penalty if they move four inches in essence this is functionally a free blitz move that always succeeds and i can't stress how big that can potentially be on the battlefield one, because if you think of it as a blitz move, you're always going to succeed. You're always going to, so you don't need to roll for it. You just move your four inches, you're still firing full rate of fire. That's kind of cool. So that's the smooth ride special rule. Uh, speed wise, it's tactical 10 inches, uh, terrain dash 14 inches, cross country dash 18, road dash 20. And um, another distinguishing feature of the EZ-8 is that it has a 2 plus cross check because it has wider tracks than your traditional normal uh, Sherman. The stock gun on the uh, EZ-8 is a 36 inch range 76 millimeter gun, halted and moving rate of fire of 2, any tank 12, 3 up firepower with no HE and stabilizer. So no HE is a penalty shooting at infantry and gun teams, and stabilizer obviously is the rule that lets you fire um, twice on the move, but at a minus one penalty. Okay, uh, they also have the standard stock uh, American machine guns on a Sherman. It has a 50 cal as well as a couple of 30 cal mounts, basically giving us um, five dice of machine gun fire per tank, uh, as well as some self-defense AA, um, due to the 50 cals. Okay, so pretty um, powerful unit. Um, it, it Again, it's a medium tank, so it doesn't have fantastic armor. Front armor 7 is okay. It's much better than front armor 6. Um, but in a world in the late, late war where lots of people have anti-tank 11, 14, and higher, um, armor 7 is, is still not fantastic. All right, let's, for the sake of completeness, let's talk about the aggressive version and just the differences there. 
So the aggressive version of the EZ8 is a hit on threes. So it's hit on threes instead of fours. It's substantially uh, cheaper. Um, otherwise, it has a the same motivation, four plus. It has a blood and guts last stand of three plus and a remount of three plus. So basically, one thing it does better than the careful version is the last stand check, which gives it a uh, a three up instead of a four, which is what the careful version gets. Skill is just a flat four. It's just a flat four, so there's no um, bonus for tactics. So they're not going to be blitzing or things like that um, anytime, you know, successfully at quite as much as the careful version. Otherwise, everything else is the same except for the, the point wise. Obviously, the aggressive hit on three guys are cheaper than the um, careful hit on four guys. All right, so that is the uh, stats for the EZ8. Now, one of the things that this book also offers is upgrades through command cards, and several of those can directly affect the EZ8. I'm going to start with probably the first one or the most important one, which is the 76 Hyper Velocity AP card. So basically what this does is it allows you to upgrade the anti-tank 12 to anti-tank 13 uh, for these vehicles at a cost of basically a half a point per unit, which is a great, um, you know, a great upgrade. AT-13 is, um, well, look at it this way. When you're fighting a tiger or panther with a front armor 9, uh, AT-13 basically means that the German is going to fail on a one, two, three. They need a four to equal and a five or higher to bounce. So at short range, 50% of your shots are going to be penetrating. At long range, 33% uh, of your shots are going to be penetrating, whereas an AT-12, only 12.5% of your shots are going to be penetrating, something along those lines. So uh, AT-13 is a big, big bump. Um, AT-12, where it might not feel like it threatens front armor 9 at long range, AT-13 certainly does. So even though it's a one-point gap, it's a big one-point gap. So um, if you're going to take easy 8s I would always recommend this upgrade. And at a half point per tank, it's not a particularly expensive upgrade. Um, the other thing we can do with our easy 8s is give them an up-armored uh, stat, basically adding uh, extra armor plate to it and that's what this um, this particular model represents this is the the uh, Crichton Abrams um, specific hero model but his easy 8 is up armored and basically it has a uh, front armor 8 uh, side 5 top 1 and it uh, what it does is it increases the cross check to a three plus. So instead of a two plus cross check, you're now cross checking on a three plus. Um, this upgrade is one point per tank. So you could do it to more than one, um, one of your easy eights, you could do it to all and add, you know up them to front armor eight. Front armor eight is really uh, an interesting front armor number because it's still, you're not quite to tiger and panther level of protection but front armor 8 is decent against AT11 that you're going to be facing uh, with Stugs, Panzer 4s, Hetzers, things like that. Um, at short range uh, AT11 penetrates on a 1, a 2, and um, a 3 is a bounce and then a 4 or higher so 50% of the time Sorry, a four is an a three is an equal, and a four or higher is a bounce. That's what I meant to say. Uh, so it can definitely help you win those kind of gunfights. The next thing to consider is the cost. Um, these guys are medium tanks, but they can be pretty pricey once you start slapping upgrades on. Uh, let's talk about the four plus version, the careful version first. Um, there, the way you build these platoons is you purchase the base tank, so you purchase an M4 late 75 millimeter tank and that runs about five points then you can do an upgrade to an easy eight and that costs an additional two points 
So now your five is up to a seven. Now you could leave it there, seven with your stock front armor seven AT-12 gun, or you could add extra armor for an additional point and basically um, as long as you have them in pairs uh, half a point to upgrade to AT-13 because it's uh, one point per two tanks you upgrade to AT-13. So that gives you a, a point average of about 8.5 per fully upgraded uh, EZ-8. I'm not really sold on the up armored version of the EZ-8 so I would say definitely the AT-13 so that's 7.5 uh, points per tank. Still not bad um, but um, still a, a lot for a front armor 7 tank. If you're going for the base uh, 3 plus hit guys um, they run basically a point cheaper so instead of a 7 point you get a, a 6 point easy 8 that's hit on a 3. So basically every easy 8 is saving you a point if you choose to go on the hit on 3's route which I'm not sure if that's enough of an incentive that, that point savings to, um, to, to matter you know you would need at least six easy eights before you could buy an extra easy eight on the uh, hit on three version versus the hit on four version so you do have that um, one of the things the easy eights although they are awesome and they can bully German medium tanks like nobody's business is as late war progresses and we get the German um, bulge book we're probably going to be facing a lot scarier threats on the board as well. We're going to be facing king tigers and things like that, which could conceivably, well, not could, they will be impervious to AT-13 from the front. So again, these Shermans will face the same exact problem uh, that any Sherman will face against a, something like a king tiger coming. Now, I'm not privy to anything in the German bulge book, so I don't know exactly what is uh, uh, coming there, how they're going to point out the King Tiger, but um, front armor should be more than enough for uh, protecting it against a, a Sherman with a 76 millimeter, even AT-13. Uh, so in that case, you're still going to have to rely on flanking maneuvers and things like that, which is another strong suit of the EZ-8 with a 2 plus cross check. Um, the EZ-8 is able to cross through woods pretty reliably um, and hopefully get you some flank shots. Um, and that's what the EZ-8 is going to bring to the table. Otherwise, you can, um, you know, if you want a 76mm gun, you could take the regular M4 late with a 76mm gun, which is about one point cheaper than an EZ-8. You lose the cross check ability. Um, you lose smooth ride, but um, you're, you're saving points. So that's uh, ultimately up to you guys. But the EZ-8 is, again, a deadly, deadly tank. It is with smooth ride. It's going to be very accurate. Um, you can, with the AT-13 upgrade, just absolutely dominate other uh, medium armor on the battlefield. So it's a good time to be an American. There you go guys, that's our quick unit overview look at the M4 EZH Sherman tank from the American Bulge book. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please do consider giving us a like and subscribe. Click that bell to receive notification when we release new content. Thanks for watching, and keep on wargaming.